November 8th and 9th, 2017, the Ministry of Planning and Development through the Global Services Promotion Program, in collaboration with the Inter-American Development Bank, the IDB, played host to an historic event. The launch of the Facebook Connect America's Challenge, You Learn, You Endeavor. For the first time, representatives from social media giant Facebook conducted a training session with over 300 small to medium business entrepreneurs and a train the trainer session with close to 30 representatives from organizations who work with entrepreneurs. The aim is to provide the tools to challenge our entrepreneurs to take their businesses to the next level. The Ministry of Planning and Development who welcomes you to the Facebook Connect America's Challenge. You learn, you endeavor. A pioneering collaboration between the Ministry of Planning and Development, executed through the Global Services Promotion Program, what we call GSPB, and Facebook, with the complete support of the Inter-American Development Bank, our IDB. You would agree that our world is more open and connected than ever before, with fewer boundaries, easier access to people, places, and things. This digital revolution has also given birth to the phenomenon known as the digital economy. This economy has created a new economic movement in which competitive advantage is built upon ideas, creativity, innovation, and continuous advances in technology. Social networking has become the lifeblood of many. Today's training represents this government's commitment through the Global Services Promotion Program of the Ministry of Planning and Development to focus on the information, technology, enabled services sector. Our national development strategy, Vision 2030, expresses the recognition that the information technology enabled services sector provides our people with limitless opportunity to rise above current economic challenges, to create, to dream, and to innovate. Today's digital marketing training brings our country one step closer to achieving our vision and our national goals. Cemented in the National Development Strategy, Vision 2030, are five key themes, of which two are putting people first, nurturing our greatest asset, and building globally competitive businesses. Through this two-day training session with Facebook, the opportunity is being provided to do just that. Arm citizens with the tools to prosper. I want to immediately thank the representatives of Facebook and the IDB for their willingness to participate with Trinidad and Tobago. But from hearing what Marina said, it is clear that they were excited to come because we were excited to have them. I am certain that for many of us, this is a side of Facebook with which we are not too familiar, but which from all indications is an integral part of the corporate social responsibility. There is no doubt that Facebook's enormous popularity comes from what it does so effectively. Enable people to like and share content with each other on the web. The question for the micro, small, and medium-sized businesses remains though. How can they best harness the potential of this social media beast? The answer might be found in this very comprehensive training program. You learn, you endeavor, which is part of Facebook's entrepreneurship and economic growth initiative in Latin America and the Caribbean to support micro, small, and medium enterprises become more competitive in their markets. Collaboration was a key theme echoed throughout the event. The Inter-American Development Bank is a key element of this partnership with Facebook. The IDB also supports the development of entrepreneurs and established businesses through their Connect America's platform, as explained by Francisco de Souza. Connect America's is a social media platform for businesses, right? It was created by IDB to help 
uh, small and medium sized companies from Latin America and the Caribbean to internationalize, to export, to import, uh, to find investment opportunities abroad, to find investors. And it's a, a platform that was designed with the idea of making it really simple for companies to do so. So we structure the site in basically three service areas, which we call Connect, Learn, and Finance. So in Connect, they can apply to purchasing announcements from governments and companies throughout the region. They can also uh, browse a database of registered companies and business people from throughout the world. They can also interact with others in sector or industry specific business communities and post purchasing or selling announcements. Uh, then there's uh, information for the learn part, right? So online courses, webinars, articles, videos. And then we have a finance section where companies can apply to multiple banks by filling out a unique application form. It's super powerful. Imagine that from one point to the next, someone who has a single person company registers on a platform and from one second to the next, literally, they can get in touch with 140,000 entrepreneurs from 120 countries, introduce themselves. Uh, that's really, it's really boundless and it's completely free. The government is in full support of the use of social media as an enabler of business and communication and are using the tools to connect with citizens, as Planning Minister Camille robinson regis explains. One of the policies of this government is to get complete coverage for Trinidad and Tobago in terms of Wi-Fi, that everybody will be able to access Wi-Fi no matter where they are. And we are pursuing that very vigorously. The Office of the Prime Minister has recently set up a, a division, for, for want of a better word, that is dealing strictly with putting government issues on Facebook, on social media, and other ministries are being encouraged to do the same thing. In fact, the Ministry of Planning and Development has um, live webcasts that go on very frequently. The representatives of Facebook were emboldened and impressed by the positive responses from the participants. This has inspired a willingness for future collaboration. For us, it's been so empowering to see to see that the product is used for many different purposes, but especially to connect with each other. And that's why our mission is to bring uh, people together, to grow communities, to help them, to empower them, and to bring people closer together. Um, so I want to emphasize that, that, that that's the reason why we're here in Trinidad today. Uh, our partnership with the Ministry of Planning, our partnership with the Inter-American Development Bank um, is very key for us because it allows us to come to a place uh, like Trinidad and at least provide what we know about, which is tools uh, for online um, development, for online marketing, for doing your business and, and getting more customers and earning more money and um, really being a better business and being a more diverse, more multinational business. That's what we can bring. We can bring you the tools. The partnership here allows us to do that. Uh, and we really hope to be back many times. We are super excited about the response that we've received from the entrepreneurship, the entrepreneurial community here in Trinidad. All of our tools are free and the learning tools. And it's, we really want to make sure that even if you don't invest one cent on Facebook, you get a payout out of that. And a payout means that you get more customers uh, on, your, on your store, or that you get more clients for your service, or that more people share your content and so you become bigger and bigger uh, in the community. It's about the organic content, the content that's on Facebook that's, that really matters to people um, there. It's, we don't need you to invest money to, for you to make money. That's really the beauty of how this platform works and I'm really excited to bring that here. But this is really about people. You mentioned people at the very beginning. It really is about the people who are on Facebook who are making those communities be more and more powerful for themselves. Mr. Tracy Hackshaw, Program Manager of the Global Services Promotion Program, indicated that there is a broader scope to the two days events. That is, to enhance the capacity and unlock the limitless potential of our own information technology enabled services sector. As you know, Facebook is the largest digital media platform for marketing and for um, social. And what we're trying to do today is, in, is look at the best approach to take our entrepreneurs from where they are, which is looking at primarily local markets um, on the Facebook platform to get them to uh, maybe regional first and certainly international. So instead of doing it through, you know, less face-to-face um, -face means, we said let's bring Facebook here, let's invite them, and they agreed. 
to give us a sort of a hands-on approach to this. So today what we're doing is a very um, interactive session with 300 odd people. So we're looking primarily at the 2030 plan and the plans that feed into it, such as Fast Forward 2, which is under Ministry of Public Administration, who are championing the, the public service reform and utilizing electronic services, digital services, digital government. Um, our job from where we sit is to provide the skills so that when the public servants and the, and the government officials are looking to do their work and they want to transform what they are doing, they can go to the market and locate the skills. Because what we're trying to avoid is a situation where to transform what you're doing, you have to import those skills. And in doing this conversion or the transformation, you end up spending foreign exchange again to, to, to achieve the effects. So what we're trying to do is ensure that the local economy can generate those skills. The, the co companies that are currently here today can in fact work with us to help the government in doing what they need to do. And as far as we can tell with government, there's a lot of willingness with any public service to transform. He further stated that collaboration and partnership are key elements of the program, as a number of organizations are working within the ITES sector to take it forward. As you see here today, government officials and the, public, and, well, the private sector are working together to achieve a common objective. Um, tomorrow, as I said, we'll be we having this attempt to engage public sector officials going to engage the private sector. It's not the easiest process in the world, but in our program we are partnering with the private sector, um, the Co uh, Coalition of Services and Industries, um, the, the Chamber of Commerce, our partners in the public sector who partner with the private sector, Export TT and Invest TT. We are working with Amcham, we're working with uh, anybody who wants to partner with us to get this done. We are working with them, we are open to what they want to do. The future is bright for the small and medium enterprises sector, as well as our entrepreneurs. They all can benefit from the use of social networking and, through current initiatives of the government, the advancement of Trinidad and Tobago's position as a major location for the global provision of information technology enabled services is a possibility with limitless potential. Data sourced from the 2030 report by the Ministry of Labor, Small and Micro Enterprise Development indicates that Trinidad and Tobago's MSMEs sector is estimated to contribute approximately 28% to GDP and represents more than 20,000 enterprises employing in the order of 200,000 persons and 85% of all registered businesses in Trinidad and Tobago. It is most apparent that MSMEs, founders and owners, especially those who are not yet fully activated digitally, would benefit greatly from the use of Facebook and Instagram to expand their markets, thereby continuing to drive revenue and employment. As you are aware, the Global Services Promotion Program emanating out of the Ministry of Planning and Development was designed on the canvas of achieving economic inclusiveness in an innovation-driven, knowledge-based growth economy. Ladies and gentlemen, I urge you to listen to learn and then to replicate what you have digested from the learnings into your own businesses. It can only serve you in good stead. That way, you would have paved the way, not only for your own wealth, but for the several generations to come and for the increased wealth of Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you, may God bless us all.